You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. Do I look like I need training? I was sent by King Pafsanias to collect the Pankration champion. My apologies. I didn't realize you were here for testicles. Don't worry about it. I don't exactly look the part. If I may offer some advice before you get him, testicles can be... difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day he knocked out six men and a bull. And he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there, isolated, away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling. A fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that'll make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. Here, is there something you need? I am grateful for what you did for us. But sometimes I wish the aristocracy would mind their own business. What are you talking about? I'm just a mercenary. I know who you are, child of the mountain. But now that you've interfered with the Cryptes and helped us slaves out, we're having even more issues with the Spartan soldiers. I did what was necessary, what was right. What the Spartan Cryptia is doing is cruel to the slaves. Because of you, the remaining Cryptia soldiers pillage our villages at night. If you want to help make up for what you did, take the rest of them out so we can have peace. So you want me to kill all the Spartans? Exactly, my friend. You can count on me. Please be quick. I'll come back when I'm done.
You're back. Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. What's mine is yours. Please. I could use someone with your skills. Would you consider joining my crew? When do we set out? You! Are you Cassandra of House Ayad? I am. I am Xanthi, Magistrate of Pitana. I have a noble task befitting someone of your high station. My son is to start his military training at the Agoyi. My husband is away at war, and I have official business to attend to. Can you escort him for me? I can escort your son to the camp, Master. Good! He'll learn how to be a man like his father and brother, or he'll die trying. It will be my honor to take him to begin his education as a Spartan. You are an agent of Zeus. I don't pretend to know the thoughts of the gods, but I'm happy to guide your son. My youngest is a dreamer. His head is filled with boyhood stories. He must learn how to serve his nation first, and then his family. It's not an easy path. He will find glory as a true Spartan soldier, or die bravely in the attempt. There is no greater way to honor Sparta. You'll find the Agogi camp southwest of here, near the foothills of the mountains. Makarios, come here. Hello, I'm Cassandra. I am honored to meet you, Eagle Bearer. I can't wait to learn to fight like my brother Theoros. And to hear all your stories of deadly monsters and glorious adventures. This way, Cassandra. The Argogi is up in the mountains, so we get there closer to Olympus. What's it like being a mercenary? I do what I must to get by. My brother said the same thing about being a man in Sparta. We learn to fight, to die for our family and our country. I can't wait. You love your home, eh? I do. We are strong and we are free. And any man will happily give his life for his city, his fellow soldiers, and his children. So how many children do you have? Oh, no, none. But when I'm older, I'm going to marry Athena and will have the strongest sons. <laughs> well then. Do you know why a Spartan soldier can lose his helmet or spear without worry? But if he loses his shield, he is punished beyond all measure. Tell me. It is because a soldier loses his helmet and spear. Stay on your guard!
What of your brother? Theodos? He's the best. He's amazing to watch in the games. He's fast and strong, and he can throw the javelin and discus farther than anyone. Oh, yes? I'm faster than anyone my age, but Theodos is like Heracles himself. He sounds like a god made flesh. He's my hero. He even sings like Orpheus. Do you want to hear me sing? The mother says I sing like a harpy. No, that's okay. I'll be glad to meet him. Here, I bring you a new charge, trainer. Makarios, son of Serios. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see my brother. Quiet, boy. No questions. You'll focus on your own lessons and duties, and speak when spoken to. Yes, sir. You'll taste dirt and blood here. I'll force you to eat a thousand bitter lessons to harden you into the bronze shield your city needs. Yes, sir. Now, Mistios. You look like you've been in a few scrapes. A scrape or two? Hundred? I like to think I've given as good as I've gotten. Ha! <laughs> Spoken like a true warrior. What say we give these summer youths a spectacle? Show them a clash of titans! Let's give these kids a show, they'll sing off for years. <laughs> <laughs> You do fight with the strength of the gods. Now that we know you can fight, I have a serious matter to discuss. Oh? Two of my older students have gone missing. And I need someone I can trust to find them. They should know enough to take care of themselves. Yes. But the world is full of unexpected dangers, and I cannot leave my charges to investigate properly. I can look for them. Tell me what I need to know. What were their last orders? I had sent them to a lookout camp, where they were to survive on their own for a few days. It is up to them to treat it seriously. But when I went to check on them, there was no sign. What dangers did you expect them to face? The students learned to watch for wolves and bears, but I saw no spore. Hmm. Perhaps a different sort of beast. The two students who are missing are called Akamas and Theoros. Theoros? Makarios's brother? The same. I fear I have failed the magistrate. I'll look at the campsite and see what I can find. Let's go. A body. Hmm. He doesn't look much like Macarius or something. Must be the other boy. Signs of battle. A lost shield. That is a bad omen. A burnt patch. Someone dropped a torch in surprise.
trail. Someone ran towards the mountain heights. Could be Theoros. Come on. Move! <laughs> Found him. side. I had almost given up. My gratitude, warrior. I was certain I would not see another day. What's your name? Theoros. Trainer Iatroclis will want to know what happened to you and your companion. My aide's mate, Akamas, was killed by these dogs when we saw them sneaking about in the night. And what happened to you? I fell in combat, and they dragged me here. I saw the battlefield. You ran as soon as your companion fell. A Spartan never drops his shield. Curse you. Yes, I don't want to be a soldier. I never wanted to. All I wanted was a small boat, a small life, to fish and live in peace. A fisherman? I came all this way for a coward? So what? I didn't ask for this. It was forced upon me. A boy in Spartak has no other choice. Your mother and Makarios will be disgusted by you. At least I'll be alive to pray for them and love them from afar. Thank you for my life, Mistios, but tell them I'm not coming back.
Here we go. What do you have to share with me, Mistios? Magistrate Xanthi, I have black news for you. Your older son is lost. Dead? In the face of danger, Theoros abandoned his shield and fled his duty. This is hard news, a blow upon my heart. I do not thank you for your words, but they needed to be heard. Makarios has started his training at the Agoyi. And who knows? Maybe one day, Theoros? I have but one son now, Mistios. To other matters. There are several in the region who could benefit from your presence, Eagle Bearer. Help them, inspire them, and I'll reward you. Give me their names. The farm owner, Laniki, as well as several of the town's important women, Zita, Zamia, and Zefxo. Who is this farm owner? Laniki runs the farm for her family. Recently, it has been underperforming. She blames the gods and believes the land is cursed. But I wonder if she's too quick to punish her Ilotes. What does Zita need? Her daughter, Zopheras, is as wild and headstrong as an untamed filly. Zita constantly prays for guidance, but I suspect Zopheras needs a more grounded hand to direct her. What should I know about Tamir? She has two precocious children who rule the roost in the Agora. They reduce their tutors to tears and stir up the other age mates. She is hoping you can instill some respect in them. What can you tell me about Zefxo? Her husband is off training for war, and she specifically requested an audience with you for help with something quite personal. I'll find them and see what they want of me. May the Dioscuri watch over your path. Oh, Ira and Aphrodite, please grant my daughter the virtue of obedience. 
eagle bearer. You bless this temple with your presence. If I may ask, I'm having a little problem. I'm not a problem. I'm a Spartan. You keep at home supervising farmers while I could be out in the world finding adventure. You give my brothers the chance to explore. Why not me? An explorer, are you? So, you're the eagle bearer everyone's been talking about. I hope you live up to your reputation. I'm Zophiras. Could you please educate my daughter to behave as a Spartan woman should? If both you and Zophiras agree, I'll train your daughter to be a fine Spartan. Beginning with her physical strength, of course. It's the only way she can keep your household safe and prosperous. The eagle bearer is right, Mater. Spartan women must be strong. You can call me Cassandra. I suppose if the eagle bearer says it. All right. Train my daughter as you see fit. Let's begin your training with running. Try to keep up. But Spartans never run. Only cowards do. Why should I train in running? Spartans run into battle. The faster you run, the more glory you can earn. That does make sense. Let's race through the theater to the entrance of the Dromos. Last one, there's a wounded goat. you could make it I'll get you next time now we'll race horses but not like they do in athletic games we'll make our own course horses why should I bother with those filthy beasts we have illotes for that horses are your most loyal partners in battle treat them well and they'll never disappoint you that's really sweet let's race to the bridge south of Sparta ready go That's how you master a beast. That was more speed than mastery. How are my lessons so far, Zophiras? Not bad. But why did you decide to teach me anyway? Don't you have more exciting things to do? Treasures to find, tyrants to depose. The secret is, by teaching a skill to someone else, you're also improving your own technique. That's the only way you'll both reach peak performance. You'll have to show me your technique. Do you have a suggestion for our next bit of training? There's a place I found in the southern hills with a wonderful view. Will you go there with me? I like the view already, but let's go. So, does that bird follow you everywhere? Icarus? Yes, he likes to keep an eye on me. Are you jealous? <laughs> if you don't mind being watched, I don't either. Did Zeus give you any special powers? You know, Achilles got invulnerability, Heracles the strength of a god. If you know the old stories, you know what Zeus is especially good at. If you have that kind of talent, just call me Pandora.
beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I'm beginning to understand you, Cassandra. Are you? Tell me, who do you think I am? It's hard to predict how you're answering my questions. You're a complicated person, aren't you? You might be right. But really, why did you bring me out here? I thought we could continue with some more intensive training, Cassandra. If you've got some energy left. I'm your teacher. You're my student. And besides, your mother would not be pleased. But I'm glad I impressed you with my teaching. Ah. Thanks, Cassandra. You inspired me to train harder. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the Eagle Bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I'd bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's an odd request. But, uh, I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. I know the story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear! If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the Temple of the Onesus Colonatas. Good to know. The Eagle Bearer. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the goddess about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Acrisius, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, Danai. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the Oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? 
The oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson. But Anai was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked Danai in a bronze room open only to the sky. Ooh! However, Mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. Danai gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it! King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus, so he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate, and toss them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid! Poor Perseus! Perseus and his mother Danai were rescued on the island of Seriphus, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Thictis. Lucky them! Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too! Good for you. Except swim or be just. Hush! Now, Victis' brother was the ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. When Perseus grows up, he travels to Iope and falls in love at first sight with the beautiful princess Andromeda. However, Andromeda's mother boasts that her daughter is more beautiful than the goddess Thetis, offending her. Never say you are better than the gods. Thetis proclaims that Andromeda must be sacrificed to the gods, or else the whole city of Iope will be destroyed. I don't think that's right. Wasn't Adromeda an Ethiopian princess? Hush! Perseus asks his grandmother Tala how to save his love. She turns into a manta ray and says to save Andromeda, he must bring back curly hair of gold, fit for the king of the mountains, who yet owns less than the humblest elot. I don't know that riddle. It's too hard! Uh, it was hard for Perseus, too, but eventually he figured it out. How? He just did his own. Perseus figured out what he needed. The golden fleece of the winged ram, said to be guarded by a monster who could turn any to stone. Luckily, Perseus was blessed by the gods, and he was guided by Athena's golden-geared owl to the monster's lair. Athena's golden owl? That's dumb. Sounds cute. I want one. And armed with the vorpal sword from mighty Olethros, he faced the snake-necked, large-headed, shaggy-maned, stony-gazed Katovlebas. No! Huh? Perseus avoided the Katoglipas' killing gaze and snicked the sword, lopping off the creature's head. Ew! He grabbed the golden fleece and wrapped the Katoglipas' head in it, then flew back home astride winged Pegasus to save Andromeda, who was about to be eaten by the Kraken. He used the deadly head to turn the Kraken to stone. Wait! The what? What's a Kraken? Uh, like a giant squid? Don't you mean the sea monster Ketos? <laughs> Pretty sure Homer said, release the Kraken, not release the Ketos. You just made that up. That was not all. Hades appears with a pack of giant scorpions called Scorpiox and kills Andromeda, and tries to kill Perseus. Huh? Perseus throws his sword of Zeus at Hades, forcing him back into the underworld. Wait, wait. It's supposed to be Hermes' sickle, and Andromeda doesn't die. You're telling it wrong! Uh, in the end, Perseus wins. Zeus offers to make him a god, but Perseus refuses, so 
Instead, Zeus brings Andromeda back to life because she was only mostly dead. Wow, that was so wrong and so boring. You are a sticky storyteller. And that story was poop. I am sorry for your audience, Evil Baron. Though from what I heard, it did sound like you deviated somewhat from the traditional tale. Uh, apologies. wouldn't happen to be the eagle bearer, would you? Me? Yes, I am. Where do you know justice? Your hair must have been woven by Athena. Your body is like a sculpture made by the masters. And your arms look so strong. Strong enough to... Strong enough to... Strong enough to carry this basket to my husband, Kalibos. Oh, right. The magistrate mentioned you. It'll be easy to carry. Thank you so much. Let me know if you need anything. Where might I find Kalibos? He's an important general. His unit is stationed in the northeast near the fort of Presai, down by the beach. What's in the basket? What any man would need on the eve of battle to win the respect of the gods. Please, Eagle Bearer. It would give him an edge over his enemies. I'll help with your delivery. in here? Bricks?
Aristios? Well met. What brings you to our camp? You are Calibos? Your wife sent me to deliver this package. I think it might be some kind of offering. Zefxo is a good woman. She's gifted me with a basket fit for Dionysos. Earthly pleasures? She made it sound like it was a case of life and death. A deathly hangover, maybe. Boys, we're having a good night. Care to join us, friend? Are you sure you want your soldiers this intoxicated while in the field? Oh, I must have misjudged you. Are you not also a Spartan? The only thing we're better at than fighting is drinking. I see your point. Thank you for offering. I don't like to dull my senses this close to battle. I will stay and keep you and your men company through the night. Chaperoned by a messenger of Zeus? This will be in this thing. Could someone pass the water skin? Oh, could someone pass my head? I think I left it farther down the beach. I didn't even drink last night. Why am I seeing a Trojan horse? We can offer it to Poseidon Earthshaker for safe passage across the sea. Careful! This was a trap the last time. boasted to a friend that I was a better tactician than Odysseus himself. Today I was proven wrong. You live to fight another day. Learn from this. Please, thank my wife for her festive gift. I don't know if I should thank her or curse her.
closer. I need to stay hidden. <laughs> Magistrate Xanthi told me that you've been having trouble with your farm. Crop failure. It's as if Ares herself salted the earth. How are the crops failing? Blight. Few plants grow, and the ones that do are wilted and covered in spots. The gods would never let this happen if they were happy. It's my godless Elotes, I tell you. You're a messenger of Zeus. You show them the light. I'll find out what's happening. Oh, thank Zeus. My Elotes, Defta and Maron. They work the fields, but they do not respect the gods. Teach them. I haven't seen other farms in the area with blighted crops. What could be causing the difference? The grain grew in short and dry. Then the animals started to grow ill. Obvious signs of displeasing Persephone or her mother. Maron claims the animals have been poisoned, but I have no enemies to speak of. What makes you blame your Elotes for the blight? Have they tampered with the plants and animals? They do not worship as you and I do. I thank the meteor for all she gives us at the end of each day. But they just reap the bounty of her hard work. So, it's divine intervention. What else dictates our fates? Oh, Defta won't stop babbling about the soil. Thinks I overwork my farm. Idiot woman. As if this farm hasn't been in my family for generations. I'll go talk with your relatives and see what they know. Mistios. Here. Your master claims this blight is the will of the gods. What do you think? Sometimes crops fail. Could be dry soil, could be insects. It's a shame about the donkey. He was more crucial to the farm's success than the master. Or you, for that matter. How can I make clearing the ground easier? The hoe I'm using is falling apart. I have to fix the blade every few swings. Something more sturdy would make it go faster. It's not like you're shackled to this patch of land. What's preventing you from getting a new hoe? Have you ever been beaten so hard you lose hearing in one of your ears? That's what happened last time I went to market without permission. Oh, of course. I'll look for one. Here you go. This should make digging easier. You're all right for a stranger. Look, the water's tasted like a rusty blade for the past few weeks. Last time I had water like that was when I was downriver from a blacksmith. Thank you. Mold to death. May your journey across the sticks be a more peaceful end than this. Debris might be getting stuck in this net. Maybe the dead man was a fisherman. Huh. These don't look like the knife wounds of a man. I'll bet it's the metal from the armor giving the water a bad taste.
Ah, that smell is going to linger on me. At least the river runs clear now. that the crops haven't been producing this season. Laniki expects more crops every year. The soil needs to rest. So there could be nothing else causing crop shortage? I didn't say that. You know more than you're saying. My stomach aches and it's hard to concentrate. It's a shame that there is no mint around to chew. Where would I get mint? The master keeps dried herbs up at the house. You can't get mint for yourself because... The master keeps all the medicine. I can pick and dry the herbs, but I'm not allowed any for myself. I'll go find some mint for you. Here you go. The herbs you needed. Fresh is better for my stomach, but since the blight... ...dried is all we have left. The back patch of land is riddled with blight like I've only seen once before. My old master lost his whole farm to it. I'll never forget the smell. The back of the farm? I'll take a look. wonder anything grows in this field with all this mess crushing the plants. Tanners in Kefalonia use something that smells awful to make leather. It can't be good for the soil. The earth is stained here. That can't be good for the soil. It seems like fire is the only way to make sure of ending this blight. Everything up around here. Now I'm beginning to understand Tefta's anger. The diseased crops have been burned, and the river is cleared. That should be the last of the blight. Oh, you truly are God sent. What was the cause of the rot? You were so busy looking to the sky that you ignored what was in front of you. The gods are not responsible for cleaning the fields or the river. That's on you. What? You dare? Xanthi said you are an agent of Zeus, but you are a false champion as godless as my Ilotes. Get out from here! The poison in your fields is nothing compared to the poison in your heart.
This area will be well defended. Thank you for aiding all of us in Pitana. Stories of you will live amongst us for many years. I help where I can, but thank you. A reward for all your help. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight.
another. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the Master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master. Maybe explain the situation? What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena to aid the infusion. When it's warm, just add a touch of cinnamon. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? Oil of Apollo. Sounds good. Now, what did I need? Oh, this smells good. Everyone loves cinnamon. I hope he appreciates this. Oh, it smells so good, I almost want to keep it for myself. Let's go.
Better turn around before I capsize.
Let's not try to start a revolt while we're here, eh, Icarus? Can't see the appeal. Everyone come on. You'd think they'd just kill each other, like that's the magic of the Olympics. Must be testicles. Go! We're at maximum speed! Speed up! Navigation. What do you want from the great champion testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Because I Testicles! Good. Let's set sail. 
Oh no! Can't possibly go now. Training! See? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. A certain oil. My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. Here's your oil. Ah. Wait, what is this stinking piss? Are you all right? Yeah, actually feel much better. Cleared my head right up. No time for a little drink to celebrate. Yeah. Sail first, drink later. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? <sighs> He'd better fucking win. It's an honor to sail with you. Your victory at the Pythian Games is legendary. Yes, I am! Woo! Feel that wind! Felt like it. Strategies for people who don't hit hard enough.
Spirits soar on high, but a Spartan never to die. 